Now you can see, got a little overzealous with this one. This is way bigger than my wick. That one's going to probably need to be adjusted. And this one's just too small. But I'm setting it up for three wicks just in case. Again, I don't plan on storing these with the wicks on here. So I have three wicks ready. I'll have another one left over for another jar. And I have four jars in all. So one I'm just going to leave with oil in it. But I'm going to go modify these. Get it so I can get the wicks in. Get them uh, pressed back into it so it will hold the wick up. And then we'll get some oil into them. So hold on. Alright. So I'm brought in my Stanley. We've got this one here loaded. Should be ready to go. I got th three wicks in this one, even though I was only planning on doing two. I'm going to light it using two, and we'll see how well it goes. Now I've got this little guy on here so that I can put my Stanley on it. Now, as of right now, it is not the uh, most secure thing for it. So, I'm going to adjust these nuts. And I would recommend, if you're going to build something like this, um, put four nuts on the bottom for, for holding it. Or have them uh, packed with four nuts so that you can uh, bring, in, bring out some little angle brackets with you. Because with this setup, the angle brackets are going to be absolutely perfect. Now, don't misuse these because it's easy to do. I have definitely misused it. I've left it out in the wood, out in the rain and the snow, and it's not happy with me. You can see the rust that's on it. Um, here's our lunch. We have Bear Creek that we're going to use. I cut up a little bit of chicken. It's pre-cooked chicken. Stanley cook pot or adventure or whatever they want to call it yes I carry lighters how shameful of me but for being out there in the car It's not doing too bad. Now, I've already pulled out one cup out of this thing to give it water for our meal. But I have a little bit of tinder start. Like I said, I got some of the alcohol pads for cleaning. Uh, some sugars. Let me just move this out. There's one cup. Sugars, tea. What are these? More sugars. Alright. So, I'm going to set that up there. And then. And this guy, if I can do it with one hand, there we go.
just a little, little bit of oil. Now, the reason I got that lit and growing now is I want that to warm up. If you guys treat these right, these little grates, because of their cast iron, you can use them just like you would a cast iron skillet or a pan. Um, you could have a fire underneath there and put meat right on there. Like I said, if you take care of it. I did not. It's become rusty. Um, and I never actually planned on cooking meat right on it anyway. That was designed only for a pot rust. Like that. So you can see my wick is already having issues. And it's probably my own fault. I do not believe they were saturated enough. No, and you can see it burnt. Sorry. Burnt right down. Now I know the bottoms have enough oil in them. Just again, they're down there. They're soaking in it. thinking maybe I didn't get enough to the top yet even though I thought I had now try that again ah, that's a little warm. set your thumb away from the fire when you ignite imagine that So my thought is to get this warm, get this going, heat up my pan, then drop my chicken in, stir it a little. Excuse me. I have one of my cups with water already. So once I would get chicken here in there and kind of warmed up then I would add our pot the water and the single so that we could enjoy a meal I have no doubts that I will further have complications. As you can see, I've got smoke rolling up off of here. Pretty darn good. And that's because that first wick is pulled kind of high. Uh, second wick there. It's got a major flame on too, but it is not that high. And there's definitely heat going on in there. But not enough to sizzle the chicken yet. I gotta go turn the bath fan on so that we can pull some of this out of here. Be back in a second. Alright, back. Got the bath fan over there going. If you can see that or not. 
there is the slightest bit of sizzling on my chicken. So that indeed means that we're working. I might not be able to get this to a boil on just two burners, but we're going to drop in. Ooh, there you go. You hear it. Drop in a little bit of chicken here. Get that going. Uh, I gotta go get a probably a little wooden spoon. And you can see that wick does not really hold out that well. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's just the little cotton cotton ones that are best for this and not actual oil wick. Or it's because now it's down to a level that it'll burn without uh, pulling I don't know. We'll keep this going. We'll watch it. See what happens. So it's been on here a couple of minutes and it's just chicken right now. Just getting that warmed up. So I'm going to go get that spoon. And get that stirred so the oil's on a little bit of every, every of the meat all the meat so that it doesn't actually burn it and once we get the chicken warmed up we'll add our singles and our water well I went to go grab a wooden spoon and all the wooden spoons that I have that are small in the mouth of the spoon have long handles and all the ones that have short handles have a big mouth so I was not not exactly happy with that turn of events but it is what it is so As far as seasonings go, my meat has already been seasoned, and I'll probably add just a little bit more salt and pepper to it. But I have a little bit of minced onion that I'm going to add in right now. My dad is allergic to onions. I love onions. So now that dad is Oklahoma, I get to eat onions. It's great. Didn't have onions in the house to afraid it would bother my dad if it was something that was cooked earlier that day or if it was uh, something that didn't get washed. I didn't want it to bug him. Now the funny thing is, is there is a food allergy supplement that you can take. The problem is it is made from derivatives of onion. So my dad could not take it. That's got plenty of onion in it. I'm going to go grab some salt pepper. I did light up that third wick. Well, it's just now getting to where I can actually hear it sizzling with all that chicken and whatnot into it. And we had to warm this up too. If we did not have this plate here and it was just that 
Stanley unit. Something holding it, like a bale up above. Two might have been enough. But to get it cooked down and having to heat that up, it was definitely going to have to be more than that. Alright, I'm going to grab some salt and pepper. We'll continue in a second. Alright, so got some salt and pepper in there. Got it stirred up. I'm going to grab a power bank for my phone because it was about dead. Now you can kind of brown your meat if you like it. Don't have to add meat at all. And this is a easy, relatively quick meal. I'm going to see if I can set this down. Not well enough. Easy, quick kind of meal. Um, so if you're like day packing, you can pack in a little bit of water, a frozen or really cold chicken breast, run out, do your day adventure, and then, whoop, good job, just enjoy your travels. I think I got that chicken where I want it. It's not brown, but it's warm. My next step is I'm going to add my single. 